What is up, guys? It is Jay back here again. Um, today we have a very special video. This is a What's in My Baseball Bag 2016 version. What's in My Baseball Bag video. Um, so, as you can see, I have all my baseball gear together. Um, as you can see, some of the stuff I don't even have in my baseball bag, so... Basically, it's from stuff from my bag and stuff that I just keep in my house and I don't even, like, use. Like, well, sometimes I'll use it, just not, like, all the time. So, it's basically, this is, like, all my baseball gear. So, let's start off with my glove. Put this aside. Because I do have that in there. Um, let's start off with my nice glove that I actually got three years ago, but, um... But it doesn't, it hasn't like outgrown me yet because it was a little big when I got it. This was back when I was 10 and I started my first baseball season. Or maybe it was my second. I, I kind of forget. But, um, it's a nice glove. Um, I got it off eBay for like 10 bucks. It had already been used for a year. Um, I really like this glove because it has nice pop. It still works. Works pretty well. Um, yeah, this is a very, very nice glove. Um, I have my name on there. Um, you can't really see it, though. But, um, as you can see, it's got a good webbing. Um, as you can see, this is a little strap here to, like, tighten it up. I don't like to have it too tight. Like, I kind of like to have it, like, sort of hang off, like, hang down my hand sometimes. Um, but, like... I'm still going to use this glove, even though, like, it ha I mean, it's sort of, I mean, I know it eventually outgrow me, but, um, I, I kind of have small hands, as you can see. No, I can't really show you, but, um, yeah. This is a nice glove, like, I heard, like, um, that, like, the smaller the glove when you're using, like, especially in the infield, the better it's, you're going to, like, be able to play with it, so... We have that as my glove. Um, Alright, let's move on. I've been talking about that a lot. Um, we got a supply of baseballs. I've already actually lost most of them because I've been hitting it into my woods in my back, in my front yard. Um, let's see, I got a tennis ball in there too. So some of them have been like smeared, beaten up, all that. Um, that one right there, that one's not really that good. As you can see, it's kind of like, like it. It sort of, like, slips off my hand when I try to throw it. These ones are the good baseballs, though. Those are the ones that I would recommend buying. Um, over here I have another glove. This is actually my dad's glove. Um, he got that so, like, he could practice playing catch with me. Um, he got that a few years back. Um, so we have that. Next up, we got my, um, Red Sox hat that... I, um, I wear, like, all the time, like, literally, all, like, I wear it, like, almost every single day, because it's a nice hat, feels comfortable, favorite team is the Red Sox, nice hat, got the B symbol, love that, um, yeah, nice cap, it's not too dirty at all, um, next up, we got some, um, waffle balls, which I actually don't don't keep in my in my um my bag and I don't keep these in my bag either because they're obviously not that fit but sometimes I'll throw the my dad will like throw these to me so I can get like like batting practice out of it so like it's just like practice like I probably shouldn't be like using those because they're like just wiffle balls but just as like some light practice or something um next up I got my um my helmet as you can see, it's a pretty good size. Um, as you can see, it's um, I got uh, it's it's an Adidas hat. I got, by the way, most of this gear I actually got at Dick Sporting Goods, like these balls, um, some of these bats. I'm sure that glove, maybe I'm not sure these batting gloves, this mitt liner. I'll get to that after the helmet, though. Um, 
Yep, pretty nice helmet. It fits on my head. Um, as you can see, it has like a nice padding inside. It's comfortable around my head. Fits fine. So that's that. Um, I also have a donut in here. Um, I actually got that from someone, although although I don't remember who. But it's a nice donut. Fits great on every bat, pretty much. Just a simple black donut, as you can see. Um, next up, we're going to move on to this. This is actually a mitt liner. Like, let's say it's, like, cold out and, like, it's freezing and you can't, like, really feel anything when you catch. I'll put that on so it, like, warms up and maybe you can be able to feel better. Feel better. Sorry, feel better. Anyway, um... You put this on your hands and like on your glove hands and then you put your glove on. Although um although it's not always cold out when I play, I actually like wearing it. Like for some reason I'm just I just like wearing it. I'm not really sure why. I like wearing gloves. I don't know. Anyway, um next up we got my nice batting gloves that I just got this year. Um these I keep in my in my um uh, my bag. Same with this and my donut and my glove and my hat and pretty much almost everything except these bats and the balls and my dad's glove. Um so yeah, the batting gloves, they're under armor, they're shock resistant, like you can't get shock from it, like like sometimes the bat will vibrate and it'll sort of like hurt your hands. Sorry, sorry about that. My video sort of shut off on me. But anyway, um, these gloves, like, let's say in case, like, you hit, you hit the, um, ball with the bat in the wrong spot, with the wrong spot on the bat, your hands will, like, sort of, the bat will, like, vibrate, and it'll create your hands to, like, have some sort of pain, um, and they'll, like, feel weak and stuff, but, um, yeah, these are shock resistant and have some sort of like padding inside that makes it like prevent that. So those are nice. We got those. Um, next up, we got the bats. Nice. I'm actually going to start off with these bats, the ones that aren't in my bag right here. I'll actually start off with a wood bat. This was actually, um, we got this off. Um, we got this at Dick's. Although, I accidentally read it wrong because, so this bat, um, I don't actually know where this, where this one came from, um, because, um, I don't know if someone, like, gave it to my dad or something, or, like, because we got it, like, a few months back, um, I don't know whose it was, as you can see, like, someone gave it to him, as you can see, it's a, uh, um, it's a Louisville Slugger in a size... 33 as you can see so that one's a pretty nice bat although I don't really use it as much next up we got a bat that I used two or three years ago um this one actually is broken inside because there's like something wrong with it if I like if I can like hit it in like a certain place it'll like make like a weird sound like cause something snapped inside of it I'm not sure like how but whatever so that bat stinks um next up we got a bat that i used last year and and since like last year i was playing on a smaller field like a smaller field now um i i like i didn't use a big barrel but last year Last year I didn't use a big barrel, but this year I am because it's on a bigger field. And I probably won't be able to hit with a small barrel because it's, it's like, not, it's not good enough. Oh, and by the way, I think these two bats, though these are both 33s, I mean, sorry, 31s, and that one is a 33, the wood bat. Next up, the best bat, in my opinion, definitely, definitely, actually, it's this one, an Easton bat. My favorite type of bat. I got it off eBay for less than 70 bucks. It's a beautiful bat. 
um it weighs i'm not sure how much it, it weighs a little more it weighs a little more it's like i think it weighs like 20 21 ounces because i don't really like using like night like below 20 because it feels a little more light and i like it to be a little heavier i like the big barrel um as you can see i've actually made some solid contact on that um so yeah this is a 31 inch pretty nice bat i like the color i like easton I like the size, the weight, everything about it. It's per it's a perfect bat. I love it. Um, so yeah, that's the bat. Um, I used to have like an overabundance of like seeds and gum in here, but I cleaned that out, fortunately, because I had that from last season. And my bag, as you can see, is a De Marini bag. Um, yeah, I guess there's nothing to t nothing to say about that, but. There you have it. That's my What's in My Baseball Bag video 2016. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you.